folks, little blog I suppose, on my new toy, a CF Moto C Force 550. Um, I planned to do it earlier, but for some reason my Sony cam was playing up. Uh, when I came out, it wouldn't, it wasn't registering the memory cards. Uh, I tried three different cards, wouldn't register any of them. Played about with it for a bit, and then gave up, and then stopped there. Switched it on to see if it was just happening to work, and it did. So who knows? Who knows? Maybe it switched off already. Uh, been out touring. I've had the bike now about a week. Quad, ATV, whatever you want to call it. About a week, and I've been out mainly with a wee man on the back. I'm pretty much always with a wee man on the back. There he goes. There. Say hello, Henry. Hen. Say hello. Hello to the camera. Hello. <laughs> so obviously, with him on the back, I can't be going too daft. Uh, so just nice and easy. Just I could probably done about. 10, 15 kilometers today, just about to head back home because unfortunately I fly out tonight to go to work. So, just out for a short run before we go. I thought it was just one of the local little reservoirs that feeds all the paddy fields, but dry season, so they're all empty just now, really empty. Uh, rainy season in a month or two, if I remember correctly and they should all fill back up, but last rainy season wasn't so rainy, hence the, the levels are all really low this year compared to what they normally are. Anyway, a uh, little bit about the bike. It's a 500cc CF Moto, if you've not heard of it, Chinese company, so yeah, yeah, I know, sure you're all going to say cheap Chinese shite, but well, I've been researching them for the last couple of months now, because I was initially thinking of getting a side-by-side -side. Um, but the prices over here for like the Polaris or Can-Am is just stupid, you know? You're paying twice the money because it, cause it's classed as a luxury item, you know? It gets massive import tax on them. And the more I looked at the CF Motos, the more research I've done, they don't have any more issues or problems than the likes of Can-Am or Polaris do, so... It's a local little army camp type, well, it's like a forestry protection place. Because, uh, well, wood, hard wood's really expensive here, so you get a lot of people trying to steal it. So the army, one of the army's jobs in all the little local places is to keep an eye on the forests. Anyway, I digress as they say. Back to the bike. So I, well, like I say, I've done, done my homework. Done plenty of research, read the forums, I think I watched almost every YouTube video going on them. And for what I see, for the money you pay, uh, you can't go wrong. So I've got about 180 kilometres on it now over the last couple of days. All light off-road, this sort of stuff that I'm on just now. Some a little bit more extreme, but not much. Um, and that's about it. I'm just on my way back home. I've got the GPS. Because obviously all these little tracks and things, I don't know where they are. I've, what I do is I go onto Google Earth and I plot, plot them using Google Earth, plot all these paths, and then I can upload it to my, from Google Earth onto my GPS. If anybody's really interested in how you do that, I'll, I'll easy explain it to you. If you leave a comment below, I'll let you know how to do it. It's quite simple. Uh, yeah, and that's about it, so it'll just be a leisurely ride home now. Um, I try to say, I try to stick to these sort of tracks when I've got the wee man on the back anyway, and avoid as much of this stuff as possible, you know, concrete, tarmac. Obviously, to join some of the tracks up from one little trail to the next, you've got to do a little bit of road. But I try and keep away from the main roads as much as possible, because, uh, well, you're not allowed these on the main road in Thailand, you're not allowed, it's not like the UK and Europe where you can get them registered for the road. Here you can't, you can't register them at all, they're just classed as agricultural vehicles. Um, so you're not, technically you're not allowed on the main road with them, but nobody really bothers so much as long as you're not being stupid and, you know, going for miles and miles on dual carriageways or motorways or the likes of that. 
um, to, for, to get home from this area to get home I've got across to one sort of minor road if you like and then one major road but I just basically cross over them you know and then I stick the sort of back streets and things like that on any of them to get to home Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, I've got visor open because just when I mean, I'm going so slow, it's uh, or this slow, it's it's a bit warm when you close the visor, so I just keep it open and wear my sunglasses under my helmet, you know, keep the wind out of my eyes and the dust out of my eyes. Okay, gents, um, there will be more videos going up. I've got a lot of video that I've done over the last few days. But it's just video, not actual vlogging as such, just, just video of me touring around all these areas. Uh, been to some quite remote little temples, there was that one today, there was that one the other day. Um, quite cool, I'll stick some photos, I'll stick some photos on the Facebook page. Uh, the photos I've taken, if you're interested, link to my Facebook page in the description as well. Feel free to have a look, if not, well, up to yourselves at the end of the day. Okay guys, I'll uh, cut you loose here. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, thank you, goodbye.